Let's pick up then with uh, the browse window. Keep going here with the all of our enhancements of what we did the first time. Um, the browse window, of course, has more than what we described initially. We went through just common usage items. Um, I want to mention some of the shortcuts. There are a number of shortcuts for the browse window that can help you, and you should be aware of because sometimes and has had has happened where you you hit such things accidentally. So let's go to the the help contents and where it says shortcuts under the frequently used links. <clears throat> Browse window shortcuts, command line shortcuts, and function keys. And these can be very, very helpful. Um, under the browse window, you have um, some of the major ones here, the shortcut A, for example. Now you have to click inside the browse window, so that is so you get the focus of that. You click you click inside the browse window, so you have the function. <clears throat> now notice the uh, accents, or the, I'm sorry, the vowel points here on the Hebrew text. You have the accents and vowel points there. Now I'm going to type the letter A on my keyboard, and now notice that the um, accents are gone. If I type it once again, they're, they're back once again. Okay? Another shortcut that's there is the X, which is related. I'm going to type the X, and notice that both the vowels and the accents are gone. So you have a consonantal text now. And that can be useful, for example, if you are wanting to copy consonantal text and to paste it into a document. <coughs> then you could you know, eliminate the uh, vowel points and accents from the display, and now when you copy it, those will be missing as well. So you can take the X, covers both of them, and the A is just the accents, so just want just the vowel points. So those are shortcuts for that. Um, some of the other ones that you're going to use, um, not much in the version, no Strong's numbers. If you type the R, that will toggle on and off the Strong's numbers. The, uh, the T or the Q can get you in trouble here. <laughs> because if you accidentally hit the letter T, if say you, you want to go to type on the command line, and you <coughs> do not first put the focus into the command line, you hit the letter T, where did my browse window go away? Where, where did it go? It's taught with a T once again, it's back again. Mm -hmm. So, the, uh, it's probably the, probably the biggest ones there for that. Um, oh, E. <laughs> Letter E. Toggles difference highlighting. Got to look at that. Sure. That here in a moment, but difference highly. Notice the. Uh, let me go to a different scope here. Have to turn them on. Okay, Daniel. Notice the the green that's on there now. This is different highlighting. And the, this is not a search highlighting, but the letter E toggles on and off the, the uh, different highlighting. Different highlighting displays differences between versions in your display mm -hmm. in your browse window. So sometimes people will turn that on by mistake and they don't know why that's there. Why do I have these colors? Uh, just hitting the E will turn that off once again. So, and by the way, when you're, you click on the Browse Window Options button, you'll see the toggle difference highlighting is here. So if you go up here and you see, ah, oh, there, okay, check box is there, that's what's going on. So it's good to check that and, and see if that is there. So the, it's a shortcut issue there. Uh, we do have some helpful uh, hints that pop up. So when you do press an E, you'll have a box there that, that'll say you just press this <clears throat> shortcut E to turn on the different highlighting. So at least it notifies you of that. Now, I have those hits turned off online here, but uh, but that'll come up on your systems. So that's the shortcuts for the, the browse window. <clears throat> um, some command line shortcuts as well. You already know about the escape key, you know, the clearing the command line, going to the command line. We've learned a lot of these things of uh, changing versions, uh, display versions, uh, search limits, such things as that. Um, we'll come back to some of those in just a moment when we talk about display favorites as well. Uh, function keys, while we're here, the function keys. We know about one function key, that is the F1 key. And that would be the, the Mac would be function F1. Is that correct, Mark? Function F1, don't mm -hmm. pop up. Okay. <coughs> Okay, um, you also have uh, well, the, the F9, for example, with the graphical search engine. 
So we'll talk about that a little later, but that'll open that. The F8 opens the wordless manager, which we'll talk about, and also the F7 opens the versless manager. So the F5 moves the cursor to the results verse list. I want to show you that one uh, because we now have the option of hiding the search window. So I'm going to hide the search window, but when I am I'm searching, I just double click that Nebuchadnezzar, but you know your, your search results window is right, right here. I don't have to have that displaying for it to function. So I'm going to hide it once again, and I'm going to press the F5, and then I am going to press, I'm pressing my right arrow on my keyboard. Notice that my verses are changing, because if I go back to my browse window, notice where my highlighted verse is. The right arrow toggles down and displays the verse. So even if I hide the search version, or the search window, I can still go through my search results. So I can be here, I can double click on Babylon, make my search, press F5 so that I, it highlights the first verse in the search results, and use the right arrow, and I can go down to my list of search results without having the search result list visible. That may be useful, especially if you have a small you know, Windows tablet, for example. And how would you get out of that? Hit F5 again. Uh, no, F5 takes you back up to the, just takes you to the search results. That's all that. Okay. Is. Yeah, so that's a browse window shortcut, or I'm sorry, the function key, right? Yeah, it doesn't do anything other than take you to the results list. That's all it does. Okay. Okay. So those are the those are some of the shortcuts that uh, you may want to use. And remember how you get those. You go to the help menu, and then they stay option and they're frequently use links. So those will make your work environment work a little faster.